Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the AMS Mod Server with me, of course, Autism's Dad. And we are back, and we got confused last episode because we had a lot to do. But today, we are pretty much on track, and I think we are good to go with the power stuff. So, the first thing I want us to do straight away is um, make the leadstone, well not the leadstone energy cell, the, re the hardened leadstone energy cell that we want. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mouse over this one and select U and this will bring up what we needed. And we needed Invar and we needed to make like an Invar blend which was like some of this stuff. Um, I pulverized iron and ferrous metal and then we put it all together and put it in the... Um, uh, um, the, the the sag mill and um, and then they um, uh, smelted it up and we've now got our invar perfect right so let's go with our hardened energy cell which is like this yay we can now store two million rf um, and i also needed some um, energy conduits which i've got from ender io which is cool so let's think about moving this whole sort of situation around a little bit okay um and the reason why is because we we, we really do want this power generation stuff to to be you know a bit more efficient we want to store more power if if you know um if that's what we really want to want to try and achieve here which is um yeah, we want to we want to keep our power generation going, but if we're not using power at that particular moment, we do want to store it. So, and we're going to store it in this, as I say, in this bus buffer system. The other thing I made when we're while you were away is the Yetta wrench. It's basically Enderio's, um, you know, uh, um, tool of choice. So I can basically shift right click and yoik, I pick up the item that I'm doing the Ender IO item, which is cool. And um, this means that I don't break it. It's got, uh, it should keep all its data being its energy levels, etc. And I can just plonk it back down and we are gonna put it here. Um, but uh, there, so we've still got our um, power in it, which is cool. Let's turn that off. Um, all the other sides are disabled, which is cool. So that's good. It retained everything, all the configuration in it is currently off because obviously it's reached its maximum buffer. Um, now, what do we want to do? Well, now I want to add the hardened energy cell. And the energy cell I'm going to do is going gonna, is gonna to be placed here, I think. Now, the configuration of this energy cell is quite simple. Blue is um, uh, input and orange is output. So if we have, let's say, um, uh, let me just get this again. Yoik, uh, let's hit it here. Let's put it down that way. And as we can see, um, all these sides are blue and the bottom is actually orange, but if I, turn that to be blue and I go left side orange we can see that the left side is now going to start pumping out power to our machines when we put some cables there um, so if we do that now let's put some conduits here here and here then immediately you can start to see that the power is beginning to um, to grow here in the hardened energy cell it's probably yeah it's downloading it's probably taking a lot of this out of it um, anyway it's uh, internal buffer so it's feeding that into here and then we will be able to go um, and put this uh, actually uh, what I want to do is I'm going to take that I'm going to go under the ground, underneath the um, machines, I think. That would be a pretty good idea. So let's go one, two, three, four. Come on, put it there. Oh, yes, we've got these. Ah, the survival generators. I'm going to actually use and I'm going to put them on the either side of the um, energy cell. And that should... Um, guarantee that it's always churning um, power into it um, like so so they they go into there now and as we can see we should be able to see um, they should be gaining power um, this one's got full buffer 
and this one's not got a buffer yet. Um, let's try and figure out why. That would be a good little problem solver. Um, so we're going under there, under there, under there. Uh, it does seem as though we're getting power into there. Ah, you know why? Why do you think it is, guys? Look at the colours. So I changed it, didn't I? So I said the bottom one didn't have output, whereas now changed it to output, and now we're getting power. Now, do you see the the opportunity we have there? We have a good opportunity for configuration there, don't we? It's really, really cool. So where's our um, our uh, survival generators? We'll put one up there. He can start feeding power into it as well. And I tell you what we'll do, we'll put another one there and he can start feeding power into there as well. And because I don't want it to feed power directly into the system, I'm going to shift left click on that cable and I'm going to say disable. And there I have it. So it's not connected to the survival generator anymore. It's only going to be pushing power into the um, uh, energy cell. Yeah. So we've got two survival generators pushing power in there now. And obviously the Sterling generator as well, which is cool. Oh, oh. And now I'm not using my machine, so it's going to build up a buffer. And um, we're going to be good for power when we need to use it. For now, that is. You know, we are going to need to upgrade all of this, of course. Um, when uh, when we come to um, growing the system but for now um, yeah I like it it's good it's good so what are we gonna do now um, we've got some power we got some ore generation jeez a wheeze the weather sounds horrible out there doesn't it I'm not going out there no way no way am I going outside. Not at the moment. Not not until I've got some good armor and whatever. And I'm thinking about doing the um, uh, Ender IO armor because it's it's made with dark steel, and dark steel is pulverized coal, iron, and obsidian. We've still not got obsidian yet, have we? Now, what we could do to get obsidian is do something which is the. Um, I think it's the smasher. Yes, terrain smasher. Now, the terrain smasher is made with an invar pickaxe, so we don't even need diamonds, and we need a um, a, a thumat thumatic thumatic a thumatic server. Okay, yes, I can say it. All right, I can, um, but I'm not going to say it again. All right, so don't make me. All right, so stop asking. Okay, so we've got one of these, and uh, these are really cool. Simple. Breaks blocks, yeah? So let's go ahead and make this. So we need some tin, and we need a basic gear as well. So we want sticks. We want tin. Tin, tin, tin. Percy's Adventures of Tin, tin. Let's go and get some more tin and we're going to chuck it in here to get the best out of it. So we want to double our ores, remember, and I'm just going to push it straight out into this guy and we're going to say alloy, oh, no, furnace. So it's just smelled it up, baby, smelled it up. Is it doing tin now? I don't have uh, pulverized tin. Oh, there's some more pulverized tin there, so we can chuck that in. Um, but it's just given us a couple, which is good. What do we need, guy? We need two of these, so we need four tin. Oh, we could do it with an iron ingot as well. So four tin and an iron ingot for that one. Um, we need three invar. Do we have any invar? Yes, we need three invar. Um, and then this guy is two glass, two iron, and a redstone. So two iron, and we need some glass so I've got two sand let's use that come on tin 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 um, come on do it there we go and let's take all the tin we've got so we've got 12 now so we should be able to make those gears uh, what did I say we need there two glass two iron and a redstone um, yeah we should get the glass now there we go right on cue and we need a little bit of redstone so let's get some redstone 
Thank you. Alrighty, let's start cooking or making this one. Oh, we need a piston as well. Didn't get the stuff for the piston, I don't think. The Invar pickaxe. Um, we need two gears and did I did I no I don't have it. I want some wood. I think we want wood and do we need anything else? Wood and we've got yeah we need some more iron as well. So let's go and get a couple of bits of iron. And now I think we should be okay to make a piston and then the terrain smasher. Oops. This one. There. No. What? What about oh. Didn't see that, did you? Good. What? This one. <laughs> oh my goodness me. A D, what are you doing? Okay. Now we're not gonna be able to shift left click with this one. And the reason why we can't shift left click with that one is because we can't shift left kick click click with recipes that have a non stackable item and obviously pickaxes aren't stackable which is why that didn't work um, so here we have our terrain smasher we don't need to provide it power either you see it look yes it's doing some munching but what we do need to do is we need to give it an area to feed into namely a chest so let's go to here and let's build a chest there's our chest and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift left click and put it on the back of the terrain smasher and watch this when I place a block see it's just smashing that terrain and it's in here okay so nice and simple yoik we're gonna use our yetter wrench and let's go and find some water and some um we need a bucket is what i've stopped for uh some water and some um, 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 what do we need what do we need come on guys you tell me what do we need lava that's right we need lava so let's get this water bucket i think there's a lot of water down there um so and what i mean by down there is down here this scary area there's some water there look um there's uh, an off sort of tunnel i made which is down there and there's a huge lava pool down there so that's where we're going to actually start doing this um this whole sort of uh, um uh, obsidian mining for now until we get something else uh, going we're going to do this so let's go down here there we go we can see it already um i'm going to oh we didn't we got some water here that's good uh i'm going to put the terrain smasher here actually um and the reason i'm going to put it here is because we can do something really really cool so, chest there, terrain smasher there, I'm going to go and build a couple of blocks around like that, and um, in fact actually I'll move this one over a bit because I used to do this before and it's sometimes it's a bit hit and miss, but let's put the water there like that, and now I have a free bucket, I'm going to go yoink, ah! Yes, I have an obsidian. I win the obsidian. I take it. Yeah. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. <laughs> right. How are we going to do this? Right. Did you see that? I got a bit too excited and I didn't aim right and I put the ter I put the obsidian in the wrong place. Silly autism's dad. I'm sorry. Don't laugh. It's just how I am sometimes. Um, so let's just clean this up. I'm going to take you, yoik, and I'm going to put these back. And I'll tell you what I'll do, actually, is you'll never know I did that because I'm just going to edit it out of the video, the final video. So um, autism's dad, um, if you're listening, please just edit that out, please. That would be great. Thank you. So let's get out of here and oh right okay so you saw that first one that was great and uh, we've got our first piece of obsidian and let's keep 
doing obsidian. Now, has anyone witnessed an easier way to do obsidian farming than this? Because, you know, oh, it's certainly early game, okay, guys? Don't shoot me down. I'm talking about early game, all right? Early game obsidian generation. Check this out. Go on. Go on. You try and beat me and the speed of mining obsidian. And, um, and whoever wins... Um, gets to have sausage and chips tonight for tea. Okay. Right. Boom. Boom. Check that out, right? In how long? Of 19 obsidian. Hello. 19 obsidian. That is pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Okay. Um, oops. Let's go here. And I'm going to go boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, look how fast I'm moving. I'm like a machine. I'm like a mod all on its own. Look at me. I'm twisting and turning. Look at it. Yes. No one can compete. Right. Is that? I'm going to just do this for a little bit more. Um, and then we will go back up to the base and start building some cool stuff. Okay. Um, I don't know what cool stuff because there's so much cool stuff to do, but we need an objective for the episode. So let's um, let's try and find something to do. Let's leave it there. I think 38 obsidian that should do us for you know a little bit, certainly to um, to uh, uh, get going. In fact, actually, I might as well just leave this here, might I? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just let's just leave that there, and we can come back to it when we need to. Um, are we going? Which way are we going? Uh, that was my mind down there, so it must be... Yes, we're going up here. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with that obsidian? Like I said, we could start making some armor because we are going to have to venture out soon enough. Okay. Um, absolutely, we are. And we do need to start to make some... Uh, um, more machines that are going to help us in this world. How's our energy looking? Um, where are we? No, oh, I want the thing. There it is. Wow, we've now got half a million RF stored up. All the machines have got their 100,000 buffer, which is cool, apart from this one, of course, because it's feeding into that. Nice. See, that's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. So, where are we then? Let's go back and have a look at our Ender IO. And I tell you what, our friend Ender is going to love this uh, this episode because I've said his name about a million times, Ender Ben Blue, haven't I? We always call him Ender on the server, so yeah. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's see what we can do now. Um, we've got these machines. Let's have a look at a couple of other things, shall we? Okay, guys. After some thought, I have just realised that you know what. In order to continue on doing what we want to do, because there's a couple of things I really, really do want to do. I want to make a farm with this farm machine um, to start getting some potatoes if uh, we need to find some, of course. But um, with this, for instance, we need some, uh, um, uh, um, well, like this controller, which is like from the Slice and Splice machine. So um, we need to make up a, a Slice and Splice machine. Um, we need solarium, and solarium is gold and, yes, soul sand. Yeah, so we're going to have to go into the nether. And, yeah, that scares me quite a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on armor. Yeah, we're going to concentrate on getting this dark plate armor. And also we're going to concentrate on empowering the armor as well. So in the way that we can empower the armor is by adding different levels of capacitors. Yeah, so for instance, for the um, chest plate, um, it's made with dark steel. We've seen how to make dark steel. Yeah, we need the... Um, coal powder iron and obsidian we've got a lot of obsidian now which is cool but if i go ahead and and shift click on that um we need a vibrant crystal 
and 20 levels to empower it okay um, we can also do something else which is add a glider and the glider is really cool because when you jump and you hold uh, um, a certain key to activate it you glide you fly you don't fall straight down so if you jump off of a high place you can just glide like you were flying yeah you're obviously coming down a little bit it's a normal glider um, but that's pretty cool so we could make that as well um, and add that on to our armor but um, yeah essentially we want to start thinking about how we can empower these items and it's all with these vibrant crystals so a vibrant crystal is an emerald with some vibrant alloy and vibrant alloy is uh, an ender pearl so we need ender pearls as well so I think let's get the base armor and let's get on into the nether we've got obsidian to build the portal and um yeah i think that's gonna be fun enough don't you for this episode so let me um crack on with this i've got some coal uh we've got lots of iron of course and i'm gonna start smelting um alloys only let's start i need how many for a portal two one two one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how many we need for a portal. The rest can, quite frankly, be um, made into some dark steel. Dark steel, it just sounds cool, doesn't it? Dark steel, I'm wearing dark steel armor. Well, not yet, but I will be. I can't wait. So let me cook all this up for you guys and then we will bring you back and um, I'm going to find a place to put my portal. In fact, actually, should we do that together? Let's do that together. I'm going to put my portal somewhere. Um, I'm going to put it around here, actually, because, you know, I, I, I don't like listening to it all the time because it's scary and I don't know if any zombie big men are coming in to um scare me as well so let's do, let's put it out of the way i probably will still be able to hear it but um it doesn't matter really let's just put it there okay and i think we've got a good place i'm gonna miss the corners out okay so i'm not cheating one two one two three bump 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 excellent and we need a simple flint and steel to kick it off and uh, let's go and get that one um, does everyone like going to the nether? I love the nether, but you know what? You're in for a treat. Have you ever been to the nether using a mod pack like this with the mod Biomes O Plenty? Because that's what we've got installed here. We've got Biomes O Plenty, and Biomes O Plenty it means exactly that. There are so many different biomes, and you know what? They do a lot with the nether. The nether is a truly scary place. The mobs, yeah, the mobs in the nether are like, there's creepers in the nether that are so quick uh, to explode that they'll explode even if you look at them. They're like crazy. It's amazing. Well, not exactly that quick, but they are quick. They are quick. Now, I haven't died yet. I've just realized I've not died. I've not died since we've started this episode and i'm nervous now because i'm gonna probably die in this episode all i'll do let's go through and see what the spawn location is and see if we get a good spawn we might have to run around screaming but um let's see what we get come on be nice oh um wow look at the nether huh do you see what i mean how cool does it look it looks amazing there's so many cool things the first thing i'm going to do guys because i'm always losing my way is i'm going to put a marker down and this is our portal home yeah that's what we're going to do we're going to keep that and save that up and now we'll never get lost because we know where we are. Yeah? Okie dokie. So let's have a quick look up here and see what's around. Oh, these wisps are pretty scary too. Um, sometimes they just attack you without warning, um, which I think he's going to do now. Don't attack me, don't attack me! All right, oh, okay. I've just, have I just angered him? 
by doing that. I think so. No, go away, please. Just go away. <laughs> All right, I'm going home. What did I say? I'm going to get killed now. I'm going to get killed. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Now we need to go and get some armor, okay? <laughs>